What is good you guys, it's your boy Bolo, and today is another great day for a tutorial. I'm a little under the weather, but you know, this Georgia pollen is, is really kicking my ass right now, but it is what it is. I don't really like to take medicine, so I just kinda, I just kinda ride it out. Bolo! Before I get to the tutorial, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I got 5,000 subscribers. Never thought I'd get 5,000 subscribers. I never really made a channel to really just get subscribers. I just always wanted a platform where I can just speak and try to show my little bit of tutorials. And I need a platform where I can learn too because sometimes when I do these tutorials, you guys in the comments actually teach me some stuff. So I think that is very cool. I love that we have this community of people that can that we can just learn from. Hey, shout out to 5,000 subscribers. When I get to 10,000, I'm actually going to do a giveaway. So tell a friend and tell a friend to subscribe to the channel and uh, so I can put more content. I'm not really here to really make any money. I'm straight. I'm really just doing this because I, I want to share a little bit of my knowledge with you guys and I want you guys to share your knowledge with me so we all can get better. So that's the good thing about YouTube. So thank you, thank you, 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. So today we're going to be talking about the Mother Ducker. It is a very simple side chaining tool inside of the MPC software and they actually have it inside of the uh, MPC X standalone. It's another great and easy tool to use side chain compression on your beats. I necessarily don't use side chaining that much because I don't really need it just by the genre of music I make, but maybe you guys might want to use it in your music. So, uh, you know, let's just go ahead and get to the tutorial and uh, I'll see you later. So let's go. Okay, I got a quick beat here. Um, this is just a very simple beat just for tutorial purposes only. And I'm gonna play the beat and I want you to hear the uh, relationship with the kick in the bass. Um, I really don't use side chain compression on my beats, but I know some of you guys uh, want to use it, especially on the MPC software. Um, so just listen to the kick in the bass. Um, it might be a little loud because I didn't turn anything down, but I do have a limit on here. So um, hopefully it won't be too loud. So let's go ahead and listen to this real quick. Okay, doesn't sound that bad, um, just something very simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to mute out um, these other sounds. Um, let me go and mute these out on my MP. So I just need the kick in the bass. So let's just play the kick in the bass. All right, doesn't sound too bad. I got a kick that has a pretty good top end to it, so it can kind of just cut through um, that bass. Um, but, you know, for tutorial purposes, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the Mother Ducker. So first thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go into our mixer right here. So now that we're in uh, the mixer, what we need to do is find the kick in the bass. So let's go ahead and find that. So pad eight, A8 eight is the kick and pad two is the bass. So what we're gonna do is um, we have to send a signal over to the bass um, so it could trigger the side chain. Um, they kind of got it backwards, I think, with the MP because I would have rather had the input to be whatever the signal is coming into, but uh, they have it to where the input is actually the signal going out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the input of the mother ducker. So we're going to go to eternal Kai effects. We're going to go to mother ducker input and we'll select that, open that up. Um, and this is going to be on bus, put this on bus one. 
um, which is that's what it comes with. Um, you can do multiple ones. You just got to put them on different buses. And then now we're going to go to uh, in, uh, pad two where the base is. And we're going to add just the mother ducker, um, which this is where the input is going to actually go through. Okay, so now we have the mother ducker input, which is on the kick. And that is sending that signal to the actual just mother ducker. So when we play them, um, this is how it's going to sound. It's going to really sound squash because um, of the uh, standard setting that they have it. And as you can hear, it's really pushing that bass down. So what I like to do um, to kind of get it to, to the way I want it to sound, what I do is I leave um, everything unmuted. I don't I don't uh, put in the solo or anything. I just take my kick and I pull it all the way down so that only the signal is going through, but you don't actually hear the sound of the kick. So when we play the bass, this is how it sounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, fix the bass without the kick, and then we're going to bring the kick up so we can hear those two together once we kind of get the bass where we want. Now, this is basically up to taste. There's no right or wrong way to do this. So you can do this any way you want. You can leave it the way it is now. But for me, I like to just hear the bass duck just a little bit when that kick comes in so that kick can cut through and still have good bass in the song because right now we're doing hip hop trap music. So let's go and open this up. And as you can see, um, has a very high ratio. I'm gonna turn that down. Uh, I'm gonna turn the auto makeup gain off for right now. And uh, let me see here. I'm gonna turn the release because I want the release to be a little bit faster so the bass can just cut. And then uh, I'm gonna turn this threshold. I'm gonna mess with this threshold and this ratio to kind of get it exactly how I want it to sound. So let me just play with it for a second. And I'm going to bring the uh, bass signal back in so you can hear how they sound. So now that we have the uh, kick in the bass sounding pretty good, let's go ahead and add these other sounds in and uh, see how it sounds. So let's go and add them in and see how it sounds. So now if we want to get a little drastic, what we could do is actually um, add the mother ducker to uh, <laughs> the the bells if you wanted to. So we can actually go in here and, uh, you know, add some side chain compression to the bells. And uh, let's, see, just, let's just see how it sounds. So we're going to go right here to mother ducker and uh, see how it sounds. <laughs> I 
There's a really compressed sound to that. But as you can see, you can use sidechain compression very easily inside of the MPC software. Um, you can do it actually inside of the MPC X in standalone mode. They actually have a better, uh, it looks better actually in the, uh, in the uh, standalone mode, but um, it still works exactly the same and you can get the same results. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. All right, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sidechain compression using the Mother Ducker. Very easy tool to use. I hope you guys can use it in some of your applications. And, uh, you know, if you like this video, please like. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 very quickly. Um, please comment and please turn on those post notifications so you will know the next time I have another video available. And like I always say, peace out.